Okay, today we're going to look at the Ford Motorcraft oil filter, number FL820S, and the Mopar oil filter, number MO-899. And you can get both of these at Walmart. The Motorcraft costs $3.97, and the Mopar oil filter costs $6.78. And these two are going to duke it out. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a board. You gotta do the silicone, be nice and tight. Get your inner ear, filtration, and your inner ear. Okay, let's start with the Mopar oil filter. Open her up. Date code 351022. Made in USA. Nitro rubber o ring gasket comes off pretty easy. And I see eight inlet holes. And I believe it's a metal core with holes. And it looks like an upper bypass valve. It's got a nice amount of threads, too. Yeah, it all looks good. Good size. Alright, let's check out the motorcraft. Date code 90706212. Majority content made in USA. And this is a sticker. Whereas this is printed. Yeah, this is a sticker. And she has six inlet holes, but uh, they're elongated holes. A little bit larger. That looks to be a silicone anti-drain back valve. And a nitrile rubber o-ring gasket, which also comes off pretty easy. Yeah. And she looks to have metal core with louvers. And also an upper bypass valve. And about the same amount of threads too. We'll see when we cut them open. Both filters are pretty much the same size. A little different base plates though. But you know what? Let's cut these babies open. Let's see what's inside of them. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention was they have a picture on the boxes. This is the Motorcraft, and that looks like louvers in there for the metal core. And the Mopar oil filter box has a nice big picture here. Looks like it's got a leaf spring, a metal core there with holes, and an upper bypass valve. So I thought I'd just mention that. All right, let's start with the weights here. The Mopar oil filter weighs 395 grams. And the base plate weighs 196 grams. And let's try the Motocraft. 367 grams. With the base plate weighing 171 grams. And let's check out these base plates. Yeah, they're, they're totally different. I would say there's more oil flow that would go through the Motocraft one right here, the one on my right, just because of the elongated holes. The threads are about the same. And the O-rings are about the same. They, they both, they don't, they, don't, they don't stay on that very well. They, they come out pretty easy, but... You just have to watch out when you're changing the oil filters, but, you know, actually I'll measure these later on. I'm going to measure these O-rings later on. All right. So let's look at these guys. Now, Motocraft has a silicone anti-drain back valve on my right. The Mopar has a rubber nitrile anti-drain back valve 
And if you look at these, they look very similar. They look exactly the same, actually. It's just that this one's silicone, Motocraft, and the Mopar is nitro rubber. And look at the difference, you'll see. Look at how this springs back. See how slow that one goes slower? And this one just goes ping. Yeah. So that's the difference here, folks. And filter element. Okay, I counted 50 pleats, glued seam, metal end caps with the upper bypass valve. And the motorcraft's supposed to have a micron rating of 80% at 20 microns and it has a cellulose polyester blend media so she has 50 pleats and let's see what she weighs 113 grams okay now let's check out the Mopar she's a complete twin <laughs> Glued seam right here, 50 pleats, upper bypass valve, she's just a little dirtier, a little more glue. Let's see how much she weighs compared to that one's, this one was uh, 113, 111, but they are different because they have, one's got louvers and one's got holes. See, see if you can see that inside there. The motocraft's got the louvers. But these guys are identical. Otherwise, they're identical. Same amount of, same amount of pleats. Bitch, it's the same, uh, same filter media. We'll see when we cut them open how long they are. They're, I, I would say they're going to be identical. Okay, put these to the side. Leaf spring. Leaf spring. Identical leaf springs. And what do they weigh? 10 grams. Yep, these are both identical. How about the cans? Let's see what the cans weigh. Mopar is 71 grams, 69 grams for the Motocraft, but I would say they're identical cans anyways, maybe just, uh, I don't know why it would be, it'd be, one would be more than the other, but it's only 2 grams, so that ain't very much. Now let's get some thicknesses here. I was getting both cans were getting the same same thickness. 0.44. Yeah, 0.46. It's it, it they're pretty much the same, folks. Same thickness. Now let's get the widths. Two point two three inches, and this is uh, which one is this one? This is the Mopar. You can't even tell them apart unless I look inside. You can see the louvers or holes. Two point five three this way, and three point two zero this way. Okay, and for the Motocraft, yeah, it's 2.21, 3 3.15, 2.58 that way. 
Yep. These are identical, except for the metal core. Metal cores are different. But I counted these two. I counted these all the way around. There's 16 of them, both filter. The holes here, there's eight of them, both filters. They look the same. All right, I say we cut these babies open, stretch them out, and see how long they are. Okay, so here they are both stretched out, and they're both 69 inches long. A lot of filter media. And they're zoomed out. Okay, so here they are at the seams. And I took a couple samples to measure. Get the thickness on these. Point seven nine millimeters. Point seven seven millimeters. Point seven nine millimeters. Yeah, it's it's like the same thing. Point eight. The Mopar here, I got this labeled M for Mopar and FM for Ford Motorcraft, but you can see it's darker, it's a little darker, and it's got these light spots, and this one's lighter, but I've seen other filters the same way like that. For some reason, some are darker, maybe it's got some oil on it, who knows, but they're both the same. Let's look at the rest of the filter. They both had the same width pretty much so I just split the difference they're off like point one hundredths of an inch so I just split the difference when I got the square inches but here you go you got the holes versus louvers um, leaf springs are the same stamp leaf springs you got the silicone versus rubber and oh yeah I was gonna measure these guys too but you got the elongated holes I'd give this base plate to the the motorcraft just because the, the holes are elongated so I think you get a better oil flow but then again it has the louvers instead of the holes sometimes these louvers when they're closed tight I don't think you get much of an oil flow either so that's a toss-up the cans are the same I mean, if you guys use either one of these filters, I think uh, pretty much the same. I mean, filter media is definitely the same. Just these little differences. The base plate's different. You got an anti-drain back valve. So if you got if you got your mount, your filter mounts sideways, you know, you'd want the you'd want this one. If you got a vertical mount one, it wouldn't really matter. You could have that one. If you use either one of these filters and wonder what the other filter was, at least now you know. But uh, let's measure these O-rings. I bet you they're the same. O-ring gaskets. Let's see what we got here. Five point. Yeah, it's five point oh mil millimeters. And this one is. This one's a little bit thinner, probably because of base plate design. I I would have thought they'd be the same, but they're not. Yeah, let's see. Get this focused in good here. Yeah, you can tell the motorcraft's on the left. It's a little bit thinner. But cost also, if it's an issue, the Mopar is about $3 more than the motorcraft. So what do you guys think about these oil filters? Put your comments down below. So I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.